Buenos Buenos dias. morning. <laughs> Good to see y'all again. Yeah. We are going on an adventure today. We're all in beach mode. We've got shroom screen and sunglasses and all sorts of stuff on. So excited. Because we're leaving the resort today. Yeah. We've, we've decided to play it, you know, as safe as we can mm -hmm. and not make too many outward ventures. Like we were going to try to go see the ruins at Tulum and we're like, <sighs> 20 minute cab ride, you know, we're trying to keep things simple, but yeah. we did have tickets to Shellha from last the park time. from our last trip we didn't get to use. So we're going to go check out Shellha today. I think it's only like a five or six five. minute cab ride mm -hmm. from where we're looking. And it's like, I don't know, water stuff, snorkel Probably. stuff, floaty. Mm -hmm. I haven't only been in the ocean yet, so yeah, it's the, like snorkeling. Ocean's looking better yeah. and better. So I think ocean days Tomorrow, are coming up, day, yeah. but for the resort, but anyway, Shellha. It's part of the uh, Shkaret family of parks. Mm -hmm. You get your tickets through them. And that's all I know. So I'll show you guys around. I haven't done as much research on this park as I did Shkaret, so it we're gonna learn together. Though. That's so right. That's pretty cool. So we're, we're going there we're going there for breakfast. Yes. Hey <laughs> It's like eight thirty. Yeah. <laughs> so breakfast, lunch, drinks, whatever we need. Yeah. It's at Shellha today. Okay. Alright. Okay, Bye. Bye. Yeah, definitely some puddles out here, but that's alright. We're both in water shoe mode today. Oh, there's the humidity. When I called this morning, they said just come up to the very front and the bellboys would handle getting us a taxi. Just let them know where you need to go. They will tell you how much it costs and in about two minutes you will have a taxi. Very efficient. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, we got all checked in up here at the lobby. He said taxi will be here in like two or three minutes. Yeah. Um, 320 Mexican pesos, I believe one way to go, which is about $16. And looking up on the Google, it's about a 10 or 11 minute cab ride. So a little longer than I thought. Still but not bad. Not bad. Anyway, we're looking. Especially curbside service. That's true. And he <laughs> even told us what cab number to be looking mm -hmm. for, so. Really, really good. <sighs> Welcome to Shellha. <laughs> right. Perfect. We got all ticketed in. Oh, we'll use more sanitizer. Ready to roll. Man, when you first come in the door, they greet you with like beverages and well, you know, for sale. I mean, it's Christmas in here. All right, let's explore. What else they us? Good to note, um, when we got out of the cab, they took our temperature and then sent us to the ticket booth where they again took our temperature. I think we've hand sanitized two or three times, so holy moly, feeling good. Yep, sanitized the pen that I was using to sign with. Love it. All right, so I'm not familiar with the park, but hey, oh, here's a map as soon as you come in. So big old map of the park. I know one of the things is they've got one of those rivers where you get in the river down here and you float, 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 and I'm not sure where you go. I think you end up down here, and then this is the river bag pickup where this little sort of checkered flag is down here. It's probably one of the bigger issues. Lots of swimmies. It's mostly snorkeling and swimming, and then there's like um, water slides and zip line and oh gosh, jumping off of cliffs and things like that, and then there's extra fees, things like uh, dolphins and stingrays and spa, obviously. Okay, well, they have adrenalina, which is like the boat ride. I'm sure <laughs> that's, that's extra. Good. Yeah. Well, we're looking to do some included. I know. Cool. All right, we're gonna explore. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, Explore is another one of their parks. We're gonna okay, shell off. There we go. I forget what that means. Spring, so, spring water, spring water. I think it means spring water. Okay, I, I could use some of that. I'm thirsty. And then, um, yeah. Oh, you. look at all this informative information. This is like, you can pick your, uh, what are the strollers, wheelchairs? That's really good, so it's very accessible. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we have a giant diorama of Tulum. We can just totally pretend that we included that in our day today. <laughs> yeah, Tulum was like a 20 minute cab ride. The other way, we were like, eh. We anyway, that's true. We were already <laughs> locked into non refundable tickets for this one, but yeah. we definitely wanted to check this place out. It's Christmas everywhere. <laughs> They've got like a little river of disinfectant you get to walk through. Very thorough. I feel so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> you get greeted with dolphins right here as soon as you enter. Okay, that's great. <laughs> they're having their playtime this morning. And I just learned that they did, they're doing, it's like the 45 minute session where you get to do quite a few. And for the first two sessions today, it's normally 100, it's only 50. Gotcha. So, you get here early in the morning and oh, not too many people. If you're one of the first couple to sign up. 
Which I don't know if we'll do because we have a lot to do already. Yeah, true. We have a lot to explore. Awesome. Good morning, guacamole. Oh gosh. Okay. No touch, no feed. Just Not chat. Just for chatting. <laughs> Got all kinds of hammocks set up. This one, this is the, the Instagrammers. This is the social media expert hammock because it's got like the logo behind it and it's nice and pretty and blue. Then these are like the folks who just want to, you know, hang out in a hammock and not be, not be social media. <laughs> so they got everything broken down by color here, similar to when we were at Chicadette. I think we're heading toward red right now. And I think there's lockers. Yeah, there's lockers in each place. Mm -hmm. And showering. Oh, yeah. So I guess once you're done exploring the red part, you can get your stuff out of a red locker, take it over to brown, put it in a brown locker. That's okay. Cool. Shula Vista. That's our destination right now for breakfast. Yeah, there is one of the locker stations. Oh, we got beverage stations. And the buffet restaurant down there, which opens in like 15 minutes. While we wait for breakfast to open, we can do some land snorkeling. Oh, I see some fish out there already. Some big, yeah, a couple of big, oh, three big fish dudes swimming by. Like big? I mean, they look pretty sizable. They could be a tasty breakfast just out there past that rock. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a barracuda. Uh-oh, tasty. Well, he doesn't have a tail like a barracuda, I don't think, but maybe. You would know better than I. It's kind of like brackish water. Yeah. They might get some else. some new sea life up here that you are not familiar with wow. make some new friends <laughs> yeah there's a bunch of fish i think if you hop in the water first thing in the morning the fish are like do you have food do you have food do you have food huh well i like this little fixture they've got out here that looks like you know sort of a, a faucet or a plumbing tap that you would have in your house that's cute now granted that's a hot water tap and that's probably not hot water but hey that is a lot of breakfast right there do we just get to catch what we want and... no no energetic breakfast that is what i need well, if I eat enough for whole days, I'll be able to propel myself energetically through the water, so that'll work. Oh, <laughs> yep, definitely an assisted buffet setup going on. It's outside. Heck yeah. Two Bonus. Beef tripe soup. The buffet assistido. You don't want beef tripe soup? No, I don't want beef tripe soup. <laughs> uh, I'll do one pancake and maybe two French toast. Mm -hmm. Kinds of tortillas and things. Oh, all right, we made it through the breakfast chaos. <laughs> got some stuff going, tortillas with some stew. You got the uh, chilaquiles verdes. Mm -hmm. uh, French toast, which they didn't have syrup, but they gave you a little bit of peanut butter. A little bit. Well, I think they said they could go get you some no. syrup in the back, but anyway, and some fruit. I got the chilaquiles rojos, a tortilla with beef, tortilla with chicken, some fruit, a pancake, and some French toast, also with peanut butter. We got our coffee, our milk, and our water, mm -hmm. we gonna eat. All right, we were able to ask if they have horchata, and they said yes. Have you had proper horchata before? At the airport. At the airport. <laughs> All right, let's see how it compares. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. It's rice milk? I believe. With cinnamon? Something like that. I like it. All right, breakfast is done. We're on the move again. The food was really good. It was a little crowded in there, but it's open air. They were doing a good job at keeping people separate. So anyway, adventure mode. We made it down to the yellow station, which actually you can see, uh, there's a little checkered flag over there somewhere. That's actually where you pick up your river bags because they do have a river floating thing here. You can catch a train or get a bike to get yourself over Ooh. to the beginning of the river. I'll do a bike. No! <laughs> but you, same kind of thing like we did at Shkadet, where you put all your valuables in a bag at the beginning. They bring it over here to the end and you pick it up when you're done. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, there's some kind of a skywalk thing. That's for the kids. Oh, man. I don't think adults are in there. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, I guess we've stumbled across the little uh, bee aviary. Or apiary. That's not called an aviary. I don't know. We can learn. It's a dysfunctional atrophy stinger. Huh. There's hollow trees where you clean the number of these lids. Guarding the UC at the entrance. No, wait. Are we relaxed? Are we in love? Are we, uh, what, what are we? Uh, all of the above. Well, I guess we're going to go straight toward manatees. Sure. Down the path of consciousness. Let's see if we try to like make sure we don't lose consciousness as we go on here. Hopefully there's lots of oxygen, all that kind of stuff. Lots of bugs to bite your legs. 
All right, here's a side path called Manatee Encounter. That sounds like something we want to look at. All the manatees sleeping. I see zero manatees. I do see a foot-powered sanitizer station. Huh. Aw, oh, Sadeki. Now that's not how they spell it usually in Spanish. I think that's maybe the Mayan spelling, but that's our friend. I eat fruits, vegetables, and tortilla chips. That is correct. Because we tried to give it fruit. Shh, we did not. That's illegal. Oh. It says eat fruit. <laughs> We've made it to Adventure World. This is where they have like zip lines and adventurous things. I hear zip lines. Oh gosh, zip line right into the water. It's all included. I think this part. Okay. Cost extra, but this is included. Walking rope. Oh, I heard a zip liner. That's too much adventure for me. I need to get in some water. <laughs> Same. Hey, look, it's a big shell. Ha ha ha. It warm. It's a very scenic hike. It's a warm hike. And I think I got tricked into this hike. You what is the hike. I know. I'm always getting tricked into exercising. I know I ate two helpings of chilaquiles. I, I know. I know. Alright, river bags and equipment and stuff stuff. Whoa! Well, we also found the little station where people get dropped off from the truck, which is right here outside the main entrance. We're going to do some swapping around, switch out cameras, and then head to Inicio del Rio. We got our river bag all set up. We're getting our life jackets now. All right, river entrance. You choose the right if you want the inner tube version, or the left if you want the snorkel version. And I guess you could always go get a tube That's what people say. and then snorkel. You find one in the well, yeah, so I'm just gonna do the swim version and you're doing the snorkel version. How's the temperature? Refreshing? It's not as bad as uh, like underground river <laughs> Oh, yeah, those were chilly. Yeah. <laughs> At least this is open to the sun. We are down in the mangrove forest. <laughs> this is really <laughs> serene and peaceful, until quite refreshing. That. Well, until you made that noise, yes. Like Mario? Yeah, her her little phone uh, or photo scanning device thing back there makes Mario <laughs> noises. That's funny. But anyway, we have started the river journey. I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's deep. It's deep, apparently. Whoa. That's why I need my life jacket. Save my life. So Dee's going to do the snorkel. I'm just going to float behind her and say stupid stuff like I always do. She's seeing stuff up there already, y'all. Anyway, let's take a look around. So this is a, a pretty good little swim. Oh, I see people standing up here though, so it must be okay. It must get kind of shallow at points. Rocks everywhere. Rocks everywhere. All right. Well, that's why I have my water shoes to protect my delicate, delicate feet. Yeah, they got a few little uh, shallow places where it looks like you could stand. But I know you're intended to do this. Uh, I guess laying prone. But I think I'm just going to do the normal standy-uppy float position. That's what this is called, the standy-uppy float. Because that's all I do is I... Maybe big snorkel too? Oh, I did hear them up. He said fishes, fishes, fishes. Anyway, I just sit here and bob like a cork. This is nice though. I needed some refreshment after that hike. That feels good, yeah. I mean, we could have taken the train. Nah. Or I could have pretended to ride a bike, but I don't ride bikes. So we already talked about that. He's pushing me along so much. Oh, right. yeah, there is it like is a. Actually so there is a. They said there is like a gentle, slow flow. I'm trying to like stop, but it's not. Oh, working. so maybe I don't have to kick my feet like I thought I did. I no, think I can this just one drift. This actually does move you along. Ah, here's the intersection where we meet up with the tube folks. Yeah, this is cool. There's a bridge up here. And a, tr a tree that can hit you in the head. <laughs> lots of deets making lots of noises. Oh, so they got a photo op up here. They take your picture as you kind of come under this bridge. They do have where you can buy the photo passes for the day. We did not opt for that. Yeah, there's an abandoned float already, so I have a feeling like if, if I get tired of, well, I'm not really having to do a lot no, of work. It yeah, that I could just get a float somewhere along the way. We get to pass this by all sorts of cool stuff. Here. Yeah, I, the current here I like. That's what they call the uh, Cliff of Courage, which you can jump off of. It looks like yeah. this gentleman might have just jumped and has climbed back up. 
Oh, his courage must have been expent, or ex sp I don't know what word I want. He didn't have any courage left. He wasn't gonna jump again, but good on him, because I would not do that. So now we're out in the wide open. We All we do is we just gotta follow those pink feet. We know, if we see pink feet, that's her H2 Go Skechers water shoes right there. We may have a jumper. Such courage. D has discovered another abandoned float. Poor abandoned float. Ma'am, were you just spinning? Oh wow, somebody just jumped up ahead of you. Were you just executing a spin and making goofy faces without me? What in the world? <sighs> That's how that works. <laughs> no? I see that. <laughs> I didn't see it until I spun around. See, spins can be useful. You don't know if you're about to get <laughs> run over unless you do a spin every now and then. <laughs> Here in the distance, I see an amazing, amazing wild leaf fish. This is the amazing Mexican leaf fish. Tequila. Oh, okay. Sorry, sir. I'll leave you alone. There's a lost snorkel. Uh, no, no, I don't think you're going to dive to the bottom of this fairly deep water. Oh, okay. <laughs> she could do it. She totally could. It's not far. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're coming up on, uh, I guess, the sort of a ropes course that you can do over the water. Yeah. Oh. We're just we're just observing all the things in relaxation mode. That's what we do. We'll show stuff, but we are far too relaxed. We don't have the courage or the energy. I mean, I ate a pretty energizing breakfast <laughs> of chilaquiles and pork stew, and I don't even think I showed my second plate because I went back up and got some more quesadillas, pork stew, good stuff. <laughs> Oh, you're a big guy. Go on. It's huge. Another snorkel. And then all the snorkels. Look at this. Oh, that's huge! Whoa! So the zip liners. So Dee's seeing all the huge fish. She found another snorkel. All the snorkels and all the huge fish. So pretty. So pretty, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if she said many are pretty, so I just kind of guessed. Another snorkel. Okay, that's at least three snorkels so far. Just don't lose yours. Uh-uh. There's more zip liners. Oh, we got some people that are actually doing the ropes course. We're in like a nice big wide open area now. Whoa. <laughs> Full of big fish, rope walkers. Yeah. See, look at all the adventure you could have over there. Or all the relaxation you can have over here. Oh, you're big. Holy cow. You found a holy cow? <laughs> <laughs> like a, an underwater cow? A cowfish. Oh, I see a, I see a sergeant major. Another snorkel. Look now. Y'all got to take care of your equipment better when you come to Shell Ha. That's at least four snorkels. So I'm seeing sergeant majors. What else I'm seeing? Lots of rocks. A couple more leafs. So cool. Especially the leafs. A big old parrot fish? Wow. Oh, cool. Cool. Mm. 
Whoa. Look at that big old D fish. <laughs> Whoa. Did you just. Wow. There's something blue up in there. Is that. Jacket. Oh, a life jacket. I like five snorkels. I'm like, guys, oh, please take care of the world. Dad. Crazy. There's all kinds. The parrotfish are huge. Yeah. Well, apparently, so are the D fish. You agreed with me. You're, uh, look at that big old D fish. She's big. Woman. She's six foot tall. Oh and my not gosh. A person. Oh, it's an underground pool. Who is? Who pulled? Found a cool little nook to kind of stop and look around in. She's over there saying hola to all her fish. Wow, she is. There's, there's another life jacket over there too, by the way. You can't take the fish home. No. I mean, if you want to have them like as a snack, we could take them home. Some of them look tasty. Uh. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, look at that. You're so cute. That's the best guess. Oh. Oh, no, Papa. That's it. <laughs> Look out. Did you hear me? Yeah, what are you calling them? Oh. <laughs> because we call them parrotfish, you're going pajaro peces. They probably have an actual name, but I'll allow it. Oh. <laughs> Clouds are starting to move in a little bit. Sun has gone away. I know those threats of rain are out there, but you know, we're already in the water. Hopefully it holds off. Makes oh, it harder to see the fish. It does. It's a little oh, bit. Yeah, wow. Yeah, the, the sky has changed. Zip liners, still a zip lining. I'm gonna do my slow spin. D is snorkeling back there. I think. I've got, I know we booked these tickets back for our, uh, first trip to Mexico and we used the 25% off MasterCard discount and there was some kind of like bundle ticket discount and all that stuff so I think it's normally about at least for the this time of year $99 per person per day I think to come here for the all-inclusive but we got it for 75 so not bad it's funny because that's the same as the cost of one night as where we're staying is $75 per person but anyway we just had to come check it out we weren't able to do it when we were here the first time, but they did give us a year to come back and use our tickets. So we said, we're going back, going back to Mexico to go to Shell Hot. Well, I'm about to run into a tree stump looking thing under the water, y'all. What have you seen? The giant tree stump. Thanks. I tried to tell you three times that you were talking. <laughs> I was like, there's a giant stuff. There's a giant stuff. I was just... Hey, there's still a giant I stuff. I was just spinning. I, I had was to, trying to save your life. No, but that's I, fine. That's fine. I, I had to give all the important information about pricing because <laughs> you know people are always like, how much does it cost to go places? True. Anyway. It's really nice. Oh, I think I can see. This is the buffet building, which oh, we, we are working our way back to. But once you get out here, it really opens up and there's a huge place to just float around well, in up here. And that too. Hold your legs up. Hold it up! Hold it up! Oh man. Oh, you like that, didn't you? <laughs> They've got a big water slide structure over here that I think they call the lighthouse. It looks like, oh yeah, it is starting to sprinkle a little bit. Uh, there's like a blue slide and a white slide that both kind of look to be the same length. So, huh, that's cool. So really our only goal for the day was to have a cool place to swim around and snorkel because I guess this whole area is netted off to some degree. I think they've said that there cannot really be any sharks or anything in here just non harmful stuff in theory even though i think somebody saw a stingray they're normally pretty peaceful maybe you can get very small sharks i don't know i don't know the exact details of this netting but relaxing you just take a nap see dia's off seeing all the stuff i'm sleeping all the sleeps
She just said, cool, I've never seen that fish. So she's discovering some kind of stuff over in this zone. It's a little dark and backlit now, but there's like rocky stuff to look at and mangrove areas and stony areas. I don't know. It's a whole cool world of fish nistosity over here. Yep, yep, yep. yep. That's a little hose. You found a little curious type of fish? A little hose on the Lisa. Little Mona Lisa. No. Little person. Little person. <gasps> little version. Of the of, of a blue fish. The blue of a new fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because, okay, yeah, yeah. You said you saw a new fish earlier, which I didn't capture that conversation on camera, which was some kind of a stripy fish. Clever. <laughs> he can be taught. Another new fish. I got that one. It's Catorce. Yeah, I don't know. I'm struggling. I'm struggling with this the snorkel talk. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, that's a, a magical. been sprinkling a little bit off and on but now this is the first solid rain I would say we had so we can see way off in the distance there's a teeny teeny little checkered flag that's what you actually aim for when you're ready to get out of the water and go get your uh, your bag to collect it back from this end of the river you head toward the checkered flag but you know what we're out here we're already wet so we may as well just explore some more because you know what i don't think the fish care if it rains but now that we've come out to kind of what i would call the end of the river you sort of empty out into this big swimming area over here lots of stuff to see lots of rain this is where they keep their d's in the swimming area yes well this is how they keep the fish hydrated they got to make sure the fish have lots and lots of uh, moisture so yeah she has done found Barry up in here, y'all. We knew it's Barry's little brother. Barrito. That's his name. D has rescued a tube from the cove and she is gonna do some floating. Can she do it now? Oh, uh -oh. hey, see so you, you. Well, I mean, that was a very successful looking hop until it wasn't. Oh yeah. Okay, you're a lot closer I than you were it. before. So you did officially make it. Nice. So how, how is your chair float it's life going? It's pretty actually. It's not bad. <laughs> it's slippery. So if you move too far forward, you will fall out. So mm. you gotta kind of stay still and just kick your feet. Funny. <laughs> All right. Well, that's where you live now. You're queen of the ocean. Brackish water. <laughs> queen of the brackish water. Yeah. <laughs> You're lost at sea in the rain. <laughs> it's a real kick going. Okay. Well, the gray clouds have rolled back in quickly. I want to mm, ride by yeah. No, no, we already saw the Queen show. I know. I've had a bicycle pedal and I'm All not right. anywhere. I think we're going to make our way over to the checkered flag. Because it's looking real dark. Real dark. Yeah. All right. Oh, my. There's the reins. Hey, now. How you doing up there? <laughs> you might just want to swim for it at this point. Yeah, we... Okay, bye. I guess the good thing is, technically, you can get out at any of these uh, stair exits, but then you just have to walk your happy little feet down to the checkered flag area to get your bag. So we might just take first available exit here. Okay, so some of the lunch places are open. We're going to head up here to the river bag spot first, though. All right, there is the pickup spot. 